What's up? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be pretty similar to my last one if you did watch it. My last one was showing how to set a controller bind to a specific weapon slot. So in that video, I think I used square. So every time you click square, it'd go to your first weapon slot. If you'd like to know how to do that, you can watch it right up in that corner. There should be a little tab. Otherwise, today I'm going to be doing something pretty similar to that. But instead of going to a specific weapon slot, it's going to be scroll wheel reset for controller. And then just like my last video, I have to let you guys know early. Unfortunately, this only works on PC. It does not work on any consoles. This is because you need the application Steam to actually get it to work and you got to mess with the controller settings in Steam. And obviously consoles don't have access to Steam. Sorry about that. But for those of you that are on PC, this is how you do it. So you're on your normal desktop screen. You don't have your controller plugged in yet. You're just on that. You haven't opened anything. If you do have epic games launcher open go ahead head into task manager and make sure to close that task or end that task for some reason it interferes with the steam controller settings and after you do that go ahead and open steam as an administrator every time you launch fortnite you're gonna have to open steam as an administrator so i suggest doing this you right click on steam you go ahead go down to properties then you go ahead and you go up to compatibility and you check this little box that says run this program as an administrator and click OK. Now every time you click on Steam, a message will pop up that's asking you to run the program as an administrator, you just click yes. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can just right click on Steam and click run as administrator. Although this is where people run into issues because if you forget to open it as an administrator, then your scroll wheel reset for your controller isn't going to work. Now you're in your main Steam page. First of all, you're gonna head over to library. As you can see, I have Epic Games Launcher already added. You most likely don't, so what you're gonna do is go down to this bottom left-hand corner, click add a non-Steam game, browse, and follow this file location at the top. You'll find your Epic Games Launcher, double click on that, it'll select the box, and you'll click add selected programs. Now you have your Epic Games Launcher in your Steam, you're gonna head over and go into big picture mode in Steam. It's up in the top right hand corner. At this point, you can go ahead and plug in your controller. And now you should be able to navigate through Steam using your analog sticks, using your buttons. They should all function. So first of all, for a little added tip, you can head up to here, go to controller settings. And if you're using a PS4 controller or Xbox controller, whichever you're using, make sure to check the correct box. I'm obviously using a PlayStation controller, so I want to check the PlayStation configuration support for that. It detects my controller down here as you can see if i click on it and i click preferences i can rename it whatever i want you can turn on rumble or have it off i have it off i don't like rumble and then all these different controller lights i can change this to yellow if i wanted as you can see my controller just changed yellow i keep it purple to match my my little galaxy control freaks and then I, you can mess with the saturation and the brightness whatever that's a little added bonus to using your controller through steam go ahead and navigate back to the normal home screen from there you're going to click on library you're going to click on games find your epic games launcher that you just added go down to manage shortcut and controller configuration at this point you can already see that i have gamepad selected if you don't which you probably don't if you've never used steam for this go ahead and click browse configs go to templates and then just gamepad it's right there it's all already good to go and you're going to go ahead and just click apply configuration now from here this is where you start getting into all the customization that you can do right now i think i'd like to use my l3 button as my scroll wheel reset so we're going to go ahead and do that right down here where it says joystick move you're going to go ahead and click on it you don't want to move the input or the output if you move that it won't let you move with your left stick in game so you're looking for the click action once you click this it's pretty simple all you're going to do is click mouse wheel down and it's going to operate as the scroll down function now you can go ahead and click back and click done. So at this point, go ahead, unplug your controller and restart your PC. While your PC is restarting, I just wanted to mention real quick, don't forget to drop a like if this video helps you or if you enjoy it whatsoever. I also upload tips and tricks and all sorts of Fortnite related content. So if you enjoy that stuff, please feel free to subscribe. Now, if you want to continue to use your Steam settings in whatever you set up in that, whether it's the weapon slots or the scroll wheel reset, you'll have to open Fortnite this way every single time you log on to your PC. So once again, go ahead, run Steam as an administrator. 
go to your library, click Epic Games, and click play. Once your Epic Games launcher comes up, go ahead plug in your controller. When you do that, your controller light that you set it to in the preferences should come on. There should also be a little message that pops up in the bottom right hand corner and that notifies you that it's actually using those controller configurations. And then all you're going to do is click library and click launch on Fortnite. While Fortnite loads, I just wanted to say this is not considered cheating because you're using Steam, which is a free application to run Fortnite. So as far as I know, it's a non-bannable offense because you're actually using Steam to just modify some of your buttons. Also, if you've been having trouble, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll make sure to answer any questions you guys have. So let's go ahead and check this out in game. Now, I'd imagine if you're on PC and you've played mouse and keyboard at all, you already have scroll wheel reset set up sorry if my face cam lighting just got really warm and kind of weird uh, my other light just died anyway go ahead and head into your settings go to your mouse and keyboard binds scroll down to where it says building and building edit for your second bind go ahead and set it to mouse wheel down and reset building edit for your second bind go ahead and set it to mouse wheel down as well this makes it so when you have an edited build all you have to do is move your scroll wheel down twice so once we'll select it, twice we'll actually confirm it. Which allows keyboard and mouse players to do ridiculous things such as reset that many builds that fast. Now this is where this comes into play on controller. Because it is one to select and another to confirm, it makes it so pressing a single button on the actual controller doesn't really do that. So this is controller scroll wheel reset, but you still do have to click it twice. Or you can click your other select edit bind and then click it, which I found to be faster. So first of all, for your controller settings, you're going to want to make sure whatever you have set, whatever you have set as the button you're doing your scroll wheel reset with, you want it unbound. So as you can see, I'm using L3, so I unbound that. And so I do this and I click in my left stick. First of all, it's gonna select it. And then if I click it again, it's gonna confirm it. But I found that clicking this twice, while it is still decently fast, I found that it's even faster if you start the edit with whatever button that you normally start your edit with and then click it. Doing that resets it very fast and allows you to be on the same playing field as keyboard and mouse scroll wheel reset. So as you can see, it's not exactly the fastest, it's not as good as the mouse scroll wheel reset, but it's about as good as you can get on a controller. So really what this is doing is eliminating the need to actually press a reset button. If I go ahead and try to do that while clicking my select edit button, my reset button, and my confirm button, this is how fast I can do that. So as you can see, it's a little faster. It's definitely easier than to learn to click all three. You only have to learn to click the two. And overall, it's just not that much work to actually get going on it to, to actually set it up. It's not that difficult for what it actually provides. And that's that. So just a little tip to help improve your skill in Fortnite. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Once again, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in my next video.